Now today we have author Dutch Sheets speaking on a father's heart. We really respect this man. He's a, a, really a father in the faith that's been around for a long time, seen a lot of things. And we really think that God is going to speak through him today as you watch. So here is author Dutch Sheets. So I'm out there a lot and I observe. And one of the positive signs that I have seen is a generation of leaders that God has raised up from the 20-somethings to the 30-somethings and even the 40-somethings that are, that are truly walking in a, in a humility before the Lord, a fear of the Lord, a hunger. They're no longer locked in their religious boxes. They're ready to maneuver and go wherever God says. And they're hungry, and many of them, are, well, they'll do anything to, that God says to get, get this awakening. And, 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 they, and they are not playing the let's see who can be the biggest game anymore. There are still some out there doing it. There, there, there are still some, obviously, their definition of success is speed and size. Who can get there first and who can be the biggest? And they don't care whose sheep they can transfer to get there. Most church growth in America in the last 30 years has not been church growth. It's been church transfer, sheep relocation. And much church growth, most church growth conferences, I call sheep relocation conferences. Because that's what they, whoever be, can be the most innovative and do this the best and that the best gets the most sheep. But we're not growing the church. We're growing our congregation. So, but there are many, even when I preach on that and, 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 and cry out with my passion, we've got to stop playing this game. There is a generation of leaders that, well, let me give you an example. I, spoke, I did a teaching on, uh, uh, to 100 pastors and their wives a few months ago. And I talked about this very thing and I hit it really hard. And I thought, okay, they're either gonna love me or hate me because I was so strong. And I, and, and I made a joke about, okay, somebody close in prayer while I sneak out of the room so I'm not stoned. They stood, ever, to, to, without, in, without exception, every person in the room stood and gave me a standing ovation. And said, thank you, thank you. We're so tired of these games that we have to play. We're so tired of it. We just want the real thing. And I, it's encouraging to me because what we see, most of us, is, is, is what's on TV or this guy's book that's got to sell another one, you know, and do. We don't see the nameless, faceless that are out there that are the real deal, filled with true passion, humility. And I'm telling you, they're out there. And I just believe when this awakening hits, they are positioned, they're ready, and they're to go after God with everything they have. And I believe even some are going to be losing their voice and others are gonna be given a voice because God is gonna take some of these people that have been in the closet, paying the price, and know him far better than this person knows him, and he's gonna give them a voice and they're gonna come forth and start speaking, preaching, leading, and people are gonna say, where has she been? Or where has he been? And they're gonna follow them. And I'm telling you, they're out there. Stay faithful, be ready, press into God more than you've ever pressed into God. Get in his word fast, but I, you know, the main thing for me is a spirit of humility, just to give before the Lord and say, I don't, I've never led a third, a, a great awakening. I don't know how to do this. I, you, I've got boxes, I have boxes just like everybody else. I have ways I've done things all of my life. You better help me because I'll mess this up. Help me and get before the Lord, be flexible, be, be, uh, be very humble and be, and, and, and be passionate. You know, that's the, the, this generation, they don't want religion, they want passion. I say, be passionate. Be passionate if you've lost your hunger, get it. If you don't have that passion anymore, you better get it. And so I just say to, to, to these leaders, be ready. I'm, I'm actually teaching tell, leaders and, and challenging leaders, you better get some, some, uh, some uh, classes and, and studies and programs in place right now to start mentoring these young people because if you don't, it's going to take you by surprise. What are you going to do when 200 young people show up on your doorstep because there's been a move of God in this high school and they show up and say, teach me about Jesus. You don't think you're going to throw them into the normal, uh, here's how you get to know my congregation uh, new membership class. You better be ready with somebody that can teach them uh, the right things in the right way and raise them up because they're going to be hungry and they're going to go someplace. And if you don't get them, somebody else may get them that's gonna, that, that's gonna take them down a path that we don't want them to go. You better get ready now because this thing's gonna take them by surprise. It's like the early church in Acts. The move of God took them by surprise. They didn't know what to do with it. They had to learn on the fly. 
And that's what many of us are going to have to do. But I'm telling the people all over the country, you better start now because this is going to be challenging to steward. 